Hello. So as I've mentioned to you guys before, I am a mental health therapist by training. Um, so diagnosis is something that I have done a lot in my career. Um, I primarily was a children ch child therapist um, focusing on zero to three. However, I've done um, work with adults in terms of crisis situations. Um, and so I'm familiar with the DSM-5, which is the manual that we use for diagnostic purposes. So the question is, should there be di different diagnostic criteria based on age? Um, the mental health community recognizes that there is a difference when we're looking at development, um, functional capacity, as well as age. Um, but it's hard to define something like that in the DSM-5. Um, there is a whole section in the DSM-5 working just with young children. Um, but then once somebody turns 18, we're using the same diagnostic criteria. So I guess some of what we grappled with this week is should there then be different criteria again for the elderly. Um, in my work with um, young children, we have a manual called DC 0 to 5, um, the diagnostic and, di diagnostic and Classification Manual for ages 0 to 5. And there is very different criteria for that age group for things like depression. However, it is not used and recognized in terms of billing purposes, so we have to crosswalk over to something that's in DSM-5. So how do we look at things like depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, substance use, dementias um, for that other age range, 18 and over? A 20-year-old is not going to present the same way as a 75-year-old is. Suicide risks are different within different age groups and they present differently. All threats need to be taken seriously, um, especially as you guys looked at this week with the elderly. They are a serious risk group. Um, teens express themselves differently. Um, the elderly tend to use um, more serious actions that can have um, more of an impact. Um, with all of that being said, we also have to consider what's um, behind statements of distress. Is there a side effect from medication? Um, so we know that the elderly may be on more medications and they may have different reactions and side effects. Was there a recent surgery um, or is there an alcohol or substance use um, that is leading to a delirium. Is someone oriented or are they delusional when they're making statements? So for example, one time I was called in to assess a 90-year-old woman for a suicidal statement. She had a history of dementia, she was losing her hearing, and here I am in the ER trying to assess if she is a suicide risk. Um, when I tried to assess her, she didn't even remember making the statement that she meant or that she said, so I spent most of my time providing psychoeducation to the family members and to the nursing home staff to um, put in appropriate safety measures. Um, the assessment in the emergency room was actually more distressing for the woman um, than had she stayed in her setting. There's also a national program called OBRA that requires nursing homes to have evaluations for people for mental health needs if they are on any type of psychotropic medication, if they have a history of being in therapy, um, or they have a mental health diagnosis. So this is one way that we are starting to address some of those needs for the elderly.